ladies and gentlemen, Cupid. How you doing? It's that time of the year again. It's Valentine's Day, where if you get a box of chocolate to the right person, then they give you something that they should give you without the damn chocolate. But you think got to have gifts, and some people buy people diamonds, and they buy them all sorts of money items to get the same thing that you could possibly get for free if you're smart. So here's how you do it. I've had this candy for four years. Notice I still have it. I haven't given it to anybody because I haven't found anybody that's a good sport. It said, this is, you're a good sport. No, I haven't found anybody that says you rock. Here's another good sport. So there must be two fucking good sports somewhere who was wanting a perfect valentine. Who writes this stupid shit? Anyway, when I was out getting this shit, I run into this guy. This guy's name is, uh, you're going to have to say it, pal, because that's, that's how you're going to have to say it. Hello. Welcome, welcome to the show. Hello, thank you. My name is Steve Orino Valentino. I am here today to talk to you. You, I, I, is this the right studio? I, I came to talk to well, you. Well, no one ever love. comes to see us anyway, so. Oh, I came to talk about here, love. Here, 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 here. Here's a couple days. Oh, thank days. you, thank you. Fruit drink, yes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now you'll stay. So my I gave, cousins may have made. Because I gave you something, so now you'll fucking stay. I am Steve Arino Valentino. I am here to talk about love. Love. What you know about love. Well, I'm love. glad the waste can is near. <laughs> I don't know. I think we love. Almost, we can blow some chunks. I think love is a very special. I noticed thing. that you have a guitar. Now, is that yours, or did I you have written, to get away with it? Or no, you know? no. I have, I have written a love song. I oh, thought I would play the love song for hey, you. Hey, go later. ahead. Why not? I mean, you know. <laughs> you want me to play the love song now? Yeah, you might as well, because if I live through the son of a bitch, All I'll right. be ready to go. If your band wants to play along with me, they can. I, yeah, I that's got a, fine. I got, if I got if a they want band. to play along, I got a 19-piece fucking band I like this here. talk show. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I am number I am number one thousand in my country of that song. Yeah. I'm number one thousand on the charts. That's very good in my country. When we met outside, you said I had a funny accent. I I have a little trouble understanding you because I'm not used to how you talk. I went to I, Chicago. I talk Chicago. 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 It's in Illinois. Chicano is Chicano. It's no? in Illinois. Chicago. Oh. It's in Illinois oh. near a fucking lake called yeah. Lake Michigan. The second city. Yeah. Sometimes what they do is to fool people once a year. They make the la a portion of the lake green for St. Patrick's Day. Can you imagine how many morons jump in there? Do they have leprechauns they fishing in the lake? That's what I thought it was too. I don't know. I, hey, he just I killed my receiver. joke. I, I was heading receiver. for the leprechaun pissing and he the was rainbow. already there. Right, right, right. So I don't know how that occurred, but that's okay because you don't know about the other shit that I know about. So how many in your family? 
I come from a very. This is gonna take a while. I come from a very small family. We only have thirty-five. Okay, okay. Don't give me their names. Don't. No, they don't. All they, some of them live back at home. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have, come, I, I, have come to, I have come to America to find work. Yeah, so you sure did. But anyway, I'm Steve Arino Valentino. I know that you're you're a romantic goddess, is what I've been told. I, is that if it hasn't been done romantically by you at least one to twelve times, then no one has I, done it. I must say this to the ladies: for Valentine's Day, don't buy chocolate candies and don't buy cards. Just bring home a very special blowjob to your man. He will love you. He will love you if you bring him a blowjob at that. And he will love you if you bring you somebody else to bring you a blowjob. That, that, <laughs> that would be, be fine too. That would be a double header if, if it was Marino somebody else. He what would be even name. better yet is if she was a mute and she only knew oh. how to do blowjobs. She didn't know, she had memory problems too. And she didn't know how to write. And she didn't know how to text message, text message or anything. She couldn't tell anybody. And that would drive her insane. Because if you want to drive a woman insane, tell them something and then tell them they can't tell anybody. <laughs> it works. We did not have that problem on the farm. I know. Yeah, there's a lot of right, things I can learn farm. from Mr. Steve Arino Valentino. I don't know what else I can learn from you because I just don't know. I do. I, I, I People sure want me either. to be romantic and then they want me to be funny. Now, you don't get both. You get one or the other. I want you to be romantic and then my next question is why? Because that way, you'll hold me and kiss me and tell me how pretty I am. Well, here's the deal. Just, let's just, uh, here, uh, we'll get to right fucking there, right fucking now. I gave her penis. We will just turn out the night. In the morning, penis every night. Penis, lay down baby, cause penis will make you feel all right. I wrote that song. He knows it. My point being, before I bore the living hell out of everybody, is this. That if you come to the table and your game is a little short, if you come to the table with a bunch of baggage and all sorts of shit, I can't use you. But if you show up, take out your dentures, and look at me like you have no fucking idea where the hell you're at, I'm in love, baby. That's right. Equal love for everyone. I'm in love. Now come over here, and I'll show you what to do. When you get done doing what I like, I'll get you a fucking house. Leave your clothes I'll pay at the door. bills. I'll do all that shit. Because you'll be doing something for me. That I cannot do for myself. Because that's the only thing I can't do for myself. If I wanted to, I could stick a carrot up my ass. Oh. But I don't want to. See, even Steve Arino, Valentino, didn't like that one. I would not stick a carrot in my ass. <laughs> Why no, not? No, I don't think I would like it. It's tapered. We'd have to watch someone else do it first. Well, I always I wondered where the hell carrot cake came from until I heard about carrot people shoving cake. mice and hamsters and carrots and cucumbers and all sorts of shit up their fucking ass. Now, why the hell would some moron want to fucking do that? Okay, I'm going to wake up today, and by midnight tonight, I'm going to have a cucumber up my ass. Now, what do you think about during the day when you got to prepare for that? And I bet you every other commercial is a Subway commercial where they sow salad and shit. And he's thinking about that hoagie roll that's going to be plowed up his patooter. Because that's what it does. It makes a patoot sound. 
Anyway, I believe we have accomplished what we set out to do. I'll let this man go to his house or someone else's house and steal I something Steve if Arino he chooses. Valentino. Steve Arino Valentino. It is good that you have came. I shouldn't I say did. it that way because you have this all down pat. It's like... <laughs> I wrote yeah. this song just for the yeah. other show today. Yeah. yeah, I can't read it. It's in Spanish, but that's okay. It you must okay. know what the fuck you're doing. But anyway, remember about the candy now. It's not about the candy because... It doesn't matter what the fuck you buy them. It doesn't matter. Because somewhere, you're some fucking now, you're going to piss them off. You're not gonna like it anyway, so it doesn't matter. And that's all I have for today. Now tomorrow we'll be interviewing Benny the Ball. He'll be bouncing in. And there's nothing better than a bouncing ball. Years ago on the television set they used to tell us to follow the bouncing ball. How many times I tried to climb in that fucking TV set because I was trying to follow the ball. The ball was in the TV set just like the bitch from Romper Room who used to call my fucking name. But anyway, that's another story. So we will see you next time with balls. Yeah, he didn't kill it. <coughs> that's enough ranting. We have 215. You need a cigarette? Probably.